So if you wondered why it is you need a real estate website with an IDX home search on it, you're probably wondering, oh, no one ever finds me. Why do I even bother having a website? Well, I'm going to show you and prove you wrong in this video. I'm going to show you how I moved up the ranks of Google in just four months for three of my niches using my drip campaign and my website. So why do you need a website? Let's talk about it. It's going to be so important for you. So let's show you how to do it. So why your website? Well, first of all, just as I mentioned, you need to have an IDX property search feed to be able to do this, right? And that's just basically the listings that gets pulled into your website direct from your MLS. And it, again, however often your company pulls that stuff in or your website company pulls it in. So the other reason is once they get there, they can also search for properties and learn more about you and your niche while they're there. So that's always a good thing. You want them registering for listings or a CMA, and then you can tell what they're searching for when they do save a search on your site, which is really key. If you get the time to go in and set up these searches on their site for them, great. Um, but in the meantime, this is the fast and easy way to do it is just to drive them over to a page on your site that you've built specific to that ad or landing page. And then the visits to your site help you organically go up the pages of Google. And I know you're going to think this is crazy, but it's not. It absolutely happened. And um, I just actually yesterday ran a search and you can see up at the top where the arrow is here. I ran a search for North Phoenix bargain homes. I actually had three niches that I, and this is an old site of mine. I actually don't use this one that often anymore. And there's a reason for it partly because it's not that great at lead capture, but I do get leads, um, but it's an old site. And I used to, you know, send this page, these pages out. Uh, I was running ads and it was over five years ago that I started, oh, I want to say six years now that I was running ads in North Phoenix. And um, I didn't necessarily know what the price range was. So I had three different pages that I built and I put all three links in one email that would be sent out every three days. And so when that happened, they would click on these links and inside the links in the, in the email it was amazing because you could see in my system exactly which links they were clicking on. So that gave me a better idea. Are they looking for bargain homes? Are they looking for luxury homes or affordable homes? So I had three different price ranges, three different pages, right? And so as a result of all that clicking, I showed you the activity on my site. Well, this is as a result of that, right? Now, here is an example of my new site that I have with Easy Agent Pro. And if anyone's interested, they're the most amazing sites out there. And uh, we integrate with them directly too. So if you're at all interested, I've got a great deal for you. So just uh, let me know and I'll, I'll make sure and get you the link to it so you can get to it. But if you're looking for a new site. So I have a KV Core site because I work at eXp Realty. I have an Easy Agent Pro site. I have that site, my old one. But these are WordPress sites and I own the site. So if I ever leave, all I got to do is put a logo on it and move, right? And all this energy that you're putting into your site, you want to take it with you if you can. So if you're, if you're really counting on your company's site now because you can't afford to have your own, that's okay. But when you make a few bucks, you guys, go get your own site because all this work that I'm telling you will go away and disappear if you ever leave that company. So you can see this is the top of my uh, site. And then uh, this is a page I built on an Insta farm page inside of Easy Agent Pro. And um, I was able to then build like a little blog, which is really key. And then down here at the bottom of the whole blog article is the search results. And I have an arrow there because it says be, be sure search results sort. When you're creating these on a page where I can build search results on something like this, and many of our sites can do this. You can do this on KV Core, obviously uh, Easy Agent Pro. You can do it on uh, I, you know a number of companies out there will allow you to put a search results on a blog. I call it a blog search. And so there's the blog and then there's the search results. But then you'll notice when you're creating the search, you, if you have the ability to set up what the sort's going to be, you want that sort to pop to the top so that the most recent listings are coming to the top every time they come here. So they're not seeing the old stuff or they're not seeing the cheapest stuff. You want the most recent stuff to show up. 
That way they'll know every time they come in, they're going to see the new stuff, right? And then the email that's going out says today's new listings in Scottsdale. Now, the other key that I did with this particular page and my other one that I didn't get in, this is actually the back of the Scottsdale page. But you want to try to make sure you're adding keywords and things like that. These are the things that they want to see. You want to have a keyword focus for whatever it is that you're you know, promoting on that page. And then you want to be able to use the keyword inside the, the blog and you want to have a certain number of words in the thing. And usually they want to see more than 600 words. And then if you have links to outside areas or other pages on your site, that's good too, right? So there's other things that go into your search engine optimization, but the more you can do this, the more activity you're going to get and the better eventually you hope to be found organically. So that is the whole plan. If you're going to spend money on leads, let all those people that are going to click on your site, whether you work with them or not, help you grow yourself organically online and you will end up on the first page of Google, right? So here inside of my software, we're able to do a recurring listing campaign. And I call it recurring because I can add a thing at the bottom of the campaign and say restart. So in this case, it's literally one template that goes out and it sends every, you know, how often you want to do. So this one would be an example of a weekly deal. And the reason I would do a weekly deal out of my thing would be if I've already got it set up on the back end of my um, website to automatically do it in the IDX area where I've set up a subscription, that's good because then I can now do this. I want this to go as well. And it, this will take them to a weekly deal, right? So they can go there and see all the, all the new listings that are coming up. But then after it sends seven days later, it hits restart and goes again and again and again and again and again, and boom, I'm done hands-free. The cool part about this is, is that if you're able to set it up in your CRM to do this, where you've got a campaign that does this, or you've got to set it up manually and just put a seven day delay in between, then if you're able to automate two campaigns at one time, when a lead comes into the system, that's amazing. And that's what I do. So when I get a new lead, it comes in and it goes into my long-term 12 month campaign. And then it goes into this one too, at the same time. So again, it's all based on what was I offering, right? So that the campaign is specific. Both of these are specific to that offer, whatever it was, okay? So that's really, really key. And because you're sending stuff they care about, they're gonna start clicking and hopefully engage with you. So I'm just going back to this page I showed you yesterday, the amount of hits I've had. This was my Eldar site and I'm still getting them. I mean, this, this was just up until April 10th or whenever when I took this screenshot. And I, I don't do anything on this site anymore. I don't even send people there. So there are strangers going to my site. I don't know who they are. Look at, I, I don't know why, but on the 20th, I had 40 visitors. I mean, I don't, have no idea. I mean, so this is what you want. And it's there because organically, I added what I want to call gas to my website tank, right? So you've got to do this. So if you have a website and you say, ah, screw it, I don't need a website. Nobody finds me anyway. Well, they're only going to find you if they're searching your name but they're not going to find you unless you have a niche out there. And when I talk about niches, I don't want you to have a niche that casts a net over the entire city because you're competing with Zillow that way. You're competing with Redfin and all those other companies. You want to have a niche that's really zeroed in and really base it on kind of a long tail type keyword search. So it's not everything under the sun, you know, and you want it to be more like, you know, three bedroom, two bass homes and Greyhawk, you know, something smaller like that. And what else do we know about people that are going to run a search like that on Google? They're going to run a search like that on Google because they're not sitting. Well, I'm going to, this is my example. You guys are probably not going to like it, but this would be my example. The people in Minnesota in the middle of winter, freezing their butts off, you are sitting there wondering, God, I need to get out of here. And I'm going to run a search for homes in Arizona. And then they're going to go homes in Scottsdale. Well, that's too broad of a search. And guess where you're going to end up on? Way down in the ranks of Google, because that's a popular search. Homes for sale in Scottsdale. But if you had homes for, you know, two bedroom, three bath homes with pool in Greyhawk, and that's your niche, then guess what? Better chance you're going to be up higher than, than somebody casting a net over the entire city. So, and if somebody's running that kind of search, 
in their sitting in Minnesota, they're farther along in their search too than they are sitting there wondering what it's like in Arizona. So what does that tell you? They're way farther along because they know exactly where they want to be. So those are the kind of things when you're thinking about setting yourself up to, for search engine optimization and getting a niche, which I do a whole other course on niche and lead magnet training and all that stuff. You have to focus on this. And if you really want to do this right, right. But let your drip campaign help you. And it will, because every time they go there, it's going to help and it's going to help grow because Google likes it when people go to your site and you're just pushing them there. So that's gas in the tank. Okay. So you want to send it fast. You want to send consistently and long-term until they say stop pretty much or they opt out. <music>